Hey you guys, it's Linwood here and today I'm going to show you how to do the nuclear knot. So stay tuned and thumbs up if you like it. If you haven't seen my last video, you can do so by clicking the I in the top right corner here. So I'm going to move a little bit closer so you can have a better look and then we'll jump right in. Alrighty, so here is the closer look. Um, and if you know like what the radioactive sign looks like or a nuclear sign or anything of that nature You can kind of see uh, where it gives that type of shape there I'm gonna go ahead and take this baby down and then we'll get started as always Thanks so much for watching and don't forget to give it a thumbs up if you like it Okay, so this knot is actually fairly simple So I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys how it's done here. It's really really easy I'm gonna start off with my blade on my right side, my tail on my left side, and um, sitting right at about my belt line at the tip of my blade. I'm gonna start by placing my finger directly in the middle of the blade, pinching from the outside to create that power crease, and then I'm just going to pull it to the center where that button is. From there, I'm gonna bring the tail over and pass it right on the cross, wrap around and under, up through the center, just like so. This one is really easy, you guys. Okay, so now we're gonna go ahead and bring it back over to the left, pass around the back side. I'm going to place the tip of the tail directly through this loop and down underneath the collar. And then we'll just give it a nice pull. I'm gonna snug up this portion of it, not extremely tight, but just firm. And I'm gonna place the tip of my tail right in this loop here and bring it on up. So basically what we are creating is essentially a lazy trinity knot. So from there, it gets really easy here. We're just gonna take it and fold it in half, just like I've done on many of my other knots. Keep that baby folded, but I'm not gonna stress over the detail with it, because I'm just gonna go ahead and bring it all the way down to the tip where it is still folded in half. Place it directly in this loop here, right across the top, and we're just going to pull that baby right on along. And while I do that, I'm just going to continue to keep it folded all the way through. Okay? From there, I'm going to repeat the same step, and I'm going to bring it right on down through this loop here. Fold it like so. Now I know a lot of people are like busy trying to fold it up all the way through there and keep it that way. And it can be a little frustrating. So for me sometimes it can actually be easier to just go ahead and slide it through there and then fold it in half when you have a looser knot like this. So if you find that, that works easier for you, go for it. Uh, from here I'm going to take the tip of the tail and slide directly through this loop also. Always making sure my smooth sides are facing outward so all you see is tons of smoothness and this is what I have left over and I'm just gonna lightly place it under the collar here from there I'm gonna go ahead and do a bit of adjusting because I want it to be a little bit airy in there just like so and then I'm gonna go in and just kind of fill in from the back side just wherever it's needed and it looks like that's pretty much the only place I might need it. Let's see here. Okay, once I have that, I can then go ahead and just pull that down. Make sure I'm tucked all the way underneath that collar. And you really want to make sure you're firmly tucked there and then just kind of adjust that tie by pushing the knot up while pulling down on the blade. And that's going to help to hold that tip of the tail in place because if it's too loose I guarantee you that portion is going to come loose on you so just make sure that you have it nice and tight this knot works really well on a shirt with like a wide collar I know someone was just recently asking me about uh, knots that work well for wide collars in my comment section of another knot that I had posted so if you're looking for stuff that works well on wide collars this knot works exceptionally well for those and yeah, of course, I tried to do it in gold because it's the closest to yellow that I have and it favors uh, more of that radioactive or nuclear type of signage. So let me know what you think as always in the comment box below. Thank you guys so much for watching. 
thank you for staying tuned for your patience and thank you guys thank you guys thank you guys if you have subscribed if you've liked if you've commented if you've shared any of my videos i greatly appreciate you i love you to the moon and back and as always stay fancy now i'll see you guys next time god bless bye